Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dark and Lovely, aka Robin, and welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time seeing the mug, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and click that subscribe button, become part of the Dark Night Squad. We lit over here, I'm your good sis, my good sis. In today's video, baby, we're gonna be installing my backsplash. Yes, DIY queen, if y'all didn't know. I seen someone comment saying y'all didn't know I was a crafty heifer. Yes, yeah, very crafty. Back in the day, before this was a sister live channel and all about me, I used to do sewing tutorials. I think they're still live on my channel because I still get comments on them. So yeah, check my playlist, definitely. I have a lot of how to's in regards to that if you're interested in that. But baby, today we're going to be handling backsplashing this area over here and backsplashing that area over there. I'm excited. We're doing the white subway towel. Towel. Tile. Tile. There we go. Not towel. Tile. <laughs> We're doing the white subway tile. I think it's going to look really good. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I am ecstatic now that I see it here and I see it behind. And the fridge just got here today. Washer and dryer just got here today. So it's still brand new. I'm not even officially moved in yet, but I will be here today. And honestly, I gotta leave and come back because I'm missing some things in regards to this. But the stuff I do have, I'm gonna unload and bring into the house right now. So, BRB. So I'm back at the house. I'm getting ready to start my project, comma. However, I feel like this is not stated enough in the videos that I've watched, but if you are going to be doing the backsplashes and they have outlets and you're gonna be messing with the outlets, you need to turn off the power. You have to turn off the breaker to the um, outlet. So to make sure they're not live. If you plan on honestly doing anything with the outlets. You wanna make sure that the outlets are not live, period. Even if you're not messing with it, but you are taking off the cover, I would suggest turning off the power to those outlets. Okay, so because we're trying to work smarter, not harder, I decided to do the subway style, uh, subway tile vertically as opposed to horizontally because the cuts would be too intricate with this. So instead, it's gonna go up this way, which I'm completely cool with. I think it's um i think it's unique i think uh it'll be like a little special touch so basically what i'm doing right now i'm laying out the tile uh it'll basically be two of these so see this is one set right here and then there's the other set and then i'll do the remainders there so it'll let me know how much tile i actually need and towards the top this will all be like uh, extra pieces, like small pieces that I have to cut so I won't need actual sheets. Um, I installed the end cap thingy. Honestly, it's not even secure. I don't know uh, how to secure this. Um, 
um, I guess once I put the tape and then the tape will make it stick and then it'll stay. I'm not really sure, but I cut it. It's not the neatest, but hey. Hey, <laughs> I'm doing this baby. So right now I'm gonna finish laying out the tile. Uh, I haven't even been through one full box. So I'll do one with you guys. So I'll lay it down. And it's Tetris. Basically just sliding the piece in, okay?
So I don't hate this tile cutter, comma, however, the width, I would have to say, of my tile didn't allow for me to get a clean cut. I don't know if you could see, but the little lever that pushes down to the pressure on to break it, it's half of the width of my tile, so therefore, it wasn't giving it the right amount of pressure to cut it and would cause it to not cut straight. So if you have thinner width tiles as opposed to the subway tile width, I would definitely try this cutter. I feel like it works perfectly fine. Maybe in a snipper, but this for me did not work and then I did end up taking it back. But I finished what I could on the wall and then I finished shop for the day and then went and returned it, honestly, because I didn't need it. about this tile and literally I didn't notice it until I got over here but you could clearly see that these are two different whites you see that you think I'm about to start over hell no hell no you think I'm about to start nope nope I'm just gonna keep it pushing and keep it pushing it's gonna look ten times better than it did, but, but I'm not about to start over. I, so I purchased the table saw. I went and got this from Lowe's. It was literally only $60. Um, I feel like I would use it more than just this time. Um, it's very cute. So, this is it. It's very, it fits on the counter. It's very small. Um, so it's a tabletop. I'm going to use it on the, the, uh, <laughs> the countertop. So it's grout time. I am so tired. It got to the point where I don't suggest you do this by yourself because it got to the point where I literally just started half-assing stuff and that's not good, okay? Um, so there it is. 
There it is over there. So now it's time for the grout. I'm not gonna talk through this at all because I am ready to go. It is 8.33. Um, I have to get up and go to work in the morning. I have to go home. I have to pack when I go home because I'm moving this Friday. So I need to get my life together. Um.